Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the episode four of Journey of Change Makers and Social Entrepreneurs. Today we have Miss Nikhil Dev of Karma Foundation as our speaker. It's a very pleasure to have you, ma'am, here. Thank you. Thank you, Ashwin. Ms. Uh, Nithal Dave is a core member of Karma Foundation. She chairs the operations of an IT company and is an active human resource consultant for a medical billing company. Driving, daily work with exceptional social skills is her expertise. Ensuring organization and well-being is her focus. She strongly believes in taking care of people who devote their time and skill to the organization. So it's our pleasure and you know the viewers' pleasure that we have you as the speaker today. So can you Thank enlighten you. Uh, enlighten about your how you started your journey as a change maker, how your journey began in the social sector? Okay. So you know, along with my career, the professional career, I was basically into the travel industry. and i've served that industry for about 25 years so been into the travel industry known lot of people across um, you know the globe uh, met lot of people who are actively connected to their ngos especially a um, few years back that is around i can say uh, more than 8 years i have been knowing karma foundation through uh, the chairperson chiranjeev patel uh, whom i met Uh, once in my uh, office, and then you know how I started uh, actively working with them. So then got associated with uh, them more after I changed my career from a travel industry to an IT background. Okay, I joined my husband's business of IT, and therein where uh, I started devoting more and more time to serve the society. So. uh karma of course have been doing lot of things uh, uh for the good for the society and all uh i participated in one of their uh, biggest make food mega camp which they organized during the covid 19 lockdown and uh, it was pleasure working with them of course a uh, lot of a uh, lot of good people lot of big shots who have put in lot of efforts to run this whole food camp for serving the entire slum community of amdavad where you know people who earn their daily wages they didn't had any income and so to give them proper food nutritious food uh, was a basic main concept of karma at that time so when i came to know about it and i joined hand with them were working uh daily in the morning say from 7:30 till 10:30 preparing food packets for uh, uh, for a lot of people and then and through the help of the uh, and the bad municipal corporation and the police commissioner were been distributed all these food packets across like, all the slum areas of amdavad so when i worked thoroughly with them for about two and half month continuously uh there is where you know i i i thought it's it's now uh, time to give back to the society because we have been um, we have been earning we have been living our own life you know uh, making our career and taking care of our families and all but um, since my childhood i've always believed that we should give some some time back to the society and we should work good for them also so when i associated with karma with that before that also um uh, i have uh, participated in the uh, uh sanitary pad distribution uh, thing so that is what karma does it on a very good scale uh, for the cleanliness of the society you know um they through this uh, through this initiative they also give empowerment to the women also and especially for the people who are in uh, the women inmates of the sabarmati jail so they get this biodegradable uh, sanitary pads manufacture and then they sell it at the low cost so last year through my uh, uh, through the kpo where i have been working uh, we also got 
a lot of uh, you know encouragement by distributing the sentry packs to the hostel at gurukul where only it is uh, people from a very lower to middle class family females are staying there and studying you know in that gurukul so we did a distribution of the sanitary pads at that time so that gave us an immense pleasure of you know giving something back to the society so this is how uh, my my journey with karma started and okay. uh, till date i am enjoying and you know it it it's good to connect to them because they do a lot of good for the uh, for the nation i must say yeah it's always good to give back to the society yeah it's yeah it's true great. and that is what i behave, believe that you know if you uh, if you want something you should always give part to the society i don't believe in giving donations in cash or something but i always believe that should be given something in the way where it reaches to the needy people you know say in terms of food or in terms of stationery in terms of books um so last year when i was uh, when i was talking to nikita of karma and suddenly she told me about uh, a thalassemia center in asarwa okay so uh, there were a lot of girls who are coming in uh, sarva and uh, my daughter she is in, she is into the corporate and wedding gifting so she had uh, she had lot of uh, footwear so okay, uh, manufacture by say, again she is a person who gives to back to the society by giving um, by giving jobs to the people who are in need so we distributed about 350 uh, pairs of footwear to this thalassemia kids mm -hmm. and and they were so happy when we saw the photographs uh, they were like everybody were having smile on their face because they were wearing some designer footwear so yeah it enlightens our day when we see their faces right yeah true true yeah yeah so how long have you been in karma um see been knowing chiranjeev patel past uh, more than 10 years now so have been always uh, been talking to him about karma and all that things and then slowly and gradually started uh, you know working uh, on on some of the other projects that they do so whatever best i can help them out so yeah you can tell about 10 years or so and um, so in between also i have helped them prepare to prepare the documentation legal documentation for okay. their committee members and also that is how some or the other way i keep on helping them uh, okay. yeah of course whenever people needed they always get in touch with us and then we so uh, one of the initiative what they told me to help uh, for the literature for the uh, finance for the um, students you know so there were two kids who had uh, lost their uh, father in covid and they were uh, they were of dav school and they actually needed fees for their further studies because there was no any member left out in the family so nikita took that initiative and told that madam can we help them because you know they are very very good at studies but they don't have money to pay the fees so uh, a few of our members who have worked uh, in this mega food camp last year we contributed and paid their fees because of which the kids were able to complete their further studies so this kind of initiatives we keep on doing with karma so that is how uh, yes so say that yeah okay so what all challenges have you faced along this uh, along your journey with karma and uh, you know as a social entrepreneur you okay so the recent example of the challenge that we have faced uh, when we were many time helpless uh, during the second covid wave okay there was there was no beds in the hospital no oxygen cylinders no medicines and no ambulances people were not getting any enough help so a team of karma they started a whatsapp group, uh, group called covid warrior group okay where in uh, people were asking for md severe people were asking for beds people were asking for uh, 108 they were not getting it 
so this whole team of karma we all uh, got together and we run this initiative for about two and half months wherein we help a lot of people whom we don't know also okay they were via via people were getting in touch with us and asking for help either they want remdesivir or they want admission in the hospital finding a bed was a, a, a task at that time for people you know it was a chaos everywhere it, you can call it as a um, as an emerge medical emergency which was across ahmedabad but not across ahmedabad but karma had helped people outside ahmedabad also getting good hospitals uh, you know giving um, giving them right advice so we had two doctors in our team and who were able to from the reports that we get it from the patients we they were able to uh, tell us whether they required uh, you know hospitalization or they can be treated at home like that so that was uh, uh, an 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 challenging time for the entire krama group because many times it was beyond uh, beyond the uh, uh, help uh, beyond control like even though you wanted to help it but things were in such a bad shape uh, that they we were not able to help and by the and the and the most frustrating time was um, you know by while finding out before we could find it out a bed or an icu with ventilator and all uh, people were losing their life so we used to get messages and that was that was very very saddening i mean very depressing at times knowing that even though you know everything is there but money is there but no, no help uh, because of the beds were not available icu were not available but many uh, it was wonderful working with this covid warrior group at that time and helping people uh, which was i for the first time in my life i have experienced this kind of an help and throughout the night i mean the whole karma team throughout the night they were working to to It find out the pain and like the yeah. experience for you guys yeah yeah, yeah. Um, it was a very nice experience uh my whole this uh, tenure of working with karma this was the very good project that they started and um, it gave a self satisfaction at the end of the day that you know even though you know, don't know that person but you were able to find it out some solution for that so okay. it was a it was a big initiative and then okay. uh, uh, then at that time you know helping people getting bed and all was uh, one side of a story but then they also thought of providing good nutritious food to the people actually who were working on the front end side say the drivers of the ambulances then the people uh, you know the front end workers working in the hospitals because they were not even going home also they were staying in hospitals only so you know they were uh, to get them good food also is very important so karma did an initiative of uh, you know uh, uh, getting the donations and 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 with this just one message they were able to uh, get so much of donation that they were able to provide more than 5000 food packets good food pa- packets to this all this uh, covid uh, warrior people who were working on the front line so they took the help of the ambulance municipal corporation and uh, uh, distributed food packets to all the brothers and sisters who were continuously uh, you know taking care of the patients in civil and um, uh, vs and all that hospitals because all these are the government hospital where they don't get such kind of an help even people even to the 108 drivers who were uh, standing in queue for getting the patient admitted to them also they have reached out and given them food packets water bottles you know that was a that was a very good initiative what they took it yeah. okay so ma'am apart from this covid vary initiative from your side yeah. what all are the other covid initiatives which have been done uh, any other uh, extra initiatives which uh, from your part uh no i mean this was the help that we okay yeah then uh, uh, we uh, they also uh, collected funds for people uh, for the police people okay because there was curfew uh, across ahmedabad and uh, the police people were standing in this scorching heat of uh, april may time 
in the heat and stand and doing their duties right so uh, distributed nimbu pani and uh, and uh, uh, jaggery and chanas to uh, these people to keep them healthy you know so that was a uh, one more initiative what what karma started at that time because they are also the people who are serving the society so they their health also should be taken care of you know yes yes like that. that's true yeah okay so ma'am uh, so so far in your journey uh, with the karma foundation which of uh, their initiative which uh, which seems to you more impactful uh from so far so many initiative what they have been taking um i found it uh, during the time of covid what they help through last past okay. two years what they have helped into the society is the most important uh, initiative that the ngo has taken care of apart from that they do a lot of things for helping poor kids see right now they are they have also started uh, night street schools okay night so night night uh, night street schools for the uh, for the people who can't afford to go to the schools so okay, okay. they go on the streets and uh, in certain areas and they give uh, education to them so okay, that is no, no. Uh, what we have what they have recently started because of covid everything was closed down but, but past 3 uh, months they have started this initiative also okay now that's a nice uh, initiative okay yeah. so ma'am uh, so uh, what is your message for the budding social entrepreneurs and change makers i should say that you know uh, people should work uh, for the society because uh, it is very important that uh, if you uh, i mean whatever uh, you god has given you from that you should part something for the good of the society because there are many people uh, uh, in in this world who are uh, helpless and who need help you know so in the some or the other way if you are able to help them uh, i it is it is it should be everybody's motto to give back to the society because god has given you this life uh, wherein you know you should take good initiatives to help poor and needy people and to educate them is also so uh, right. some or the other way i keep on trying that i can be of help uh, to all the people who are in need okay okay so ma'am uh, we are ending towards our uh, interview the talk show so okay. i would like to thank the audience thank you for joining us and it was a pleasure having you guys and listening to the you know the impact journey of miss nithal and also the karma foundation and also uh, thank you ma'am it was a very pleasure and you know very nice hearing about the every point initiatives by you guys and i you know wish a very all the best for the organization and for your to the, for the future endeavors okay thank and you, to thank the you audience yeah yeah uh, i should so, thank you for uh, giving us the opportunity to be a uh, part of the ngo story today yeah it's our her motto ma'am it's our vision that we should yeah. uh, be able to you know broadcast every ngo story they deserve it what all the things yeah. are they doing the initiatives they are doing needs to be seen by uh, people yeah true true yeah yeah, yeah. so uh, everyone so this is we are uh, going to end the, uh, the talk show now so it was a pleasure having you guys see you in the next episode of journey of change makers this is your host ashta signing off thank you ma'am okay thank you thank you ashta bye thank you bye. Bye.